Taurus. This is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of April 5th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you are seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. We'll find a link to those readings below this video. Okay, so this is a week of... Hmm, actually, you've got a couple weeks of secrets coming out or some kind of confirmation coming. Something that you have suspected, something you have thought was going to happen it is going to be the case i can assure you okay now not only that you're looking at a good business deal um the signing of a legal document there's something there where it's telling you you're going to have to dig for your patience i really think it has to do with a person and for my singles out there this is a really good time to bring something new into it Alrighty, so let us take a look. This is for my course for your week of April 5th, 2021. Taurus, we start with that Eight of Pentacles, okay? Eight of Pentacles says, uh, this is new money. This is what I'm talking about. This is money in addition to, it's something in addition to your regular pay. There's the Page of Cups energy, an unexpected offer. This could be an unexpected offer of love. Also want to throw out there that a Capricorn may resonate with you guys. We have Karma. It is that time. It is that time of year. The Karma bus is rolling around. Then we have the Ten of Swords. Now the Ten of Swords shows me there's someone that's done you wrong. Okay, but you're having a hard time letting go of that energy. And don't worry, we will clarify these. With that in the center of the reading, I have the King of Wands. This is you. This is you taking authority. This is you putting your foot down, being true to yourself. Uh, an Aries energy may resonate here. The Fool. Now, the energy of that pool shows me that you are happy, go lucky. You are doing wonderful. You are feeling wonderful. But... Don't get so caught up in your happiness that you make foolish decisions. But the energy of that is just perfect. And here we have the get out of your own head, the five of cups. You guys are overthinking things. When you overthink things, you bring your energy from up here to down here like that. Okay. Uh, when you find yourself doing that, let these thoughts go. Because what it shows me, and it could be over this person that's done you wrong. It's not going to serve any purpose. It just brings your energy down. And then we have the Seven of Wands. That beautiful energy of the Seven of Wands. Of getting things done. Checking things off the to-do list. Okay. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Okay. So I've got a power couple here. I've got the King. And the Queen of Wands. So Queen of Wands. Balance. Centered. Grounded. Like that pool card, you're very happy. You're happy-go-lucky. Also, a Leo may resonate here with you guys. Let's jump in and clarify some of these. Let's go a little bit further with this. You got a really, really good, good, strong reading going on here for my Taurus. So, Taurus, we're going to start up here on that Eight of Pentacles. Now, also, I won't be doing an extended reading today, but I will be doing your love reading for the entire month of April. We'll be on Vimeo. Eight of Pentacles comes with the Seven of Wands. So there, you have the Seven of Wands up here twice. That beautiful energy of getting things done. This is you pushing forward. This is you making things happen. Page of Cups comes with the happily ever after. So that, yes, this is going to be an offer in love. Now, if I got any single Tauruses out there, this is a sign of good communication and something new beginning. But if I've got any in a coupled relationship, um, this is a sign of things moving forward. On top of that, karma is the new beginning in money. Perhaps you've had hardships in money and now... It's coming in to you. This is new beginnings in money. That ten of swords comes with the five of swords. You're very defensive about this person that has done you wrong. And this energy, I'm going to be honest with you, it's holding you back. You kind of need to slam the door on this. Whoever's done you wrong, it's in the past. Let it go so you can continue to move forward. 
King of Wands comes in with the sun. Look at that smiley face. The sun shines brightly in all that you do, but it also brings in new opportunities. On top of the full, oh, the chariot, my favorite card. This shows you get everything you want and desire. And when does it come in? When you least expect it. Look at that yin and yang there. And on top of the five of cups is the six of wands. That's what I'm saying. Don't overthink things. You have my permission. Just don't overthink things. Six of wands, total victory, total success also shows you can be surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. That uh, seven of wands energy has the star. It's wish fulfillment. Okay. Could indicate a little bit of a delay, but ultimately it's a wish fulfillment. And with that Queen of Wands, I have the Five of Wands. Things are not always perfect. There are still some challenges ahead, but pretty much we're looking at perfection here. And your bonus card is the Queen of Cups. It shows you're ready to open your hearts. You're open to love and to receive love. And it could also resonate as being a Scorpio. Taurus, I am looking at the sun, the star, and the chariot, and I really don't think it gets any better than that. Have a wonderful week. Join me on Vimeo for your love reading for the month of April. You'll find the link to everything in the description box below, and I'll see you soon. Bye.